Okay, here is part two of my uh, zombie strategy guide. I'm still in the theater, and I'm out of MP40 ammo, so I need to turn on the power and run. But first, I'll grab some more MP40 ammo because I'm not gonna. I need to. When you're running around the stage like this, you need to go in one direction the whole time. You can't turn back around and go the other direction. So I'm gonna need to go back this way. MP40 uh, is good to have. In the later rounds, it's not going to kill zombies, but it'll um, get you a lot of points, and you can keep buying ammo for it for like 500. So, what I'm doing right now is uh, running around on stage, and uh, you want to keep the back door shut uh, no matter what. Like, um, even if the box was back there, like the the mystery box, then you want to go the long route through the the lobby. You want to go through the alleyway from there, and um, so now the power's on, I'm going to start buying stuff. Uh, Juggernaut is probably the first thing you want to buy. Um, it costs 2500 uh, You get to, you, you can survive like four or five hits with it instead of just two. And then I'm going to buy Quick Revive so you can revive yourself. And you can, you can buy it uh, three times so you have four lives. Four lives. Um, let me see, what else? Oh yeah, I, I already got Claymores. Uh, they're not really gonna, I don't use them to like protect me or anything, they're just for extra points. And for the mystery box, uh, the first weapon you want to get is, you, you need, in order to like, you need a ray gun or you're gonna lose, that's it. So, uh, you want, you really need to go for that early. Python will act as a substitute for a few rounds, but, uh, you know, it's a python, you, you can't like, you got like six shots before you have to reload. And um, if you can't get a python, next best is probably the CZ-75 or dual CZ-75. And if you can't get that, then shotgun will, will hold. It'll take that spot, but not past like round 10. If it's round 10, you pretty much need a ray gun or python. And uh, all the, what all these have in common is you need the mobility and power, mostly. Um, the secondary weapon you want uh, just ammo capacity. It's not going to be what you're going to be using for killing, just going to be for getting a lot of points. So even though uh, I got the HK, even though you're holding the HK, like you can switch to your other lightweight gun to run fast, and um, that's what you can do. So you just kind of always keep your lightweight gun out, and then you just switch. You, you basically you're going to be walking a loop, and then you turn around and shoot with your heavy gun. Anyways, skipping forward a bit, and look what I've got. Got a ray gun. Got lucky. And I got monkey bombs. So, the way this loop works is you want to pull out the ray gun and go walking speed. Full walking speed. Uh, you don't want to sprint unless you actually need to get out of like a situation. Then you'll slow down again. You want to take the widest route. You want to stay on stage. Just take the perimeter of the, the room, like stick to the wall, and uh, um, sometimes you need to improvise, so just be, you have to think quick at points, and you have a bunch of emergency escapes. Like I said, you want to keep the door in the back shut, so uh, they're not coming in from that direction, because you're going to need to turn your back right there and turn around and shoot, so you don't want them coming in behind you and you can't see. So, but yeah, you have emergency escapes, you can go out the front of the stage, or you can go out the other side door. Um, you you want to use all your machine gun ammo. Uh, like the ray gun is a killer. You're just gonna kill all those zombies with the ray gun. Machine gun is only for points. Like later in the game, your machine gun isn't gonna be able to kill a zombie. It'll li like literally take like 30 bullets with the HK to kill one zombie in like round like 20 in the 20s. So, um, oh, and, and when you do turn around and shoot, when you pull out your machine gun, you want to crouch so you're hitting the little crawler guys. Otherwise, they're gonna go right underneath you, and you can't even see them. Um, you're gonna want to use like all your grenades and claymores every round because they're not gonna. You don't need to save them. Like they're not gonna protect you from anything. They're just gonna get you more points. Uh, you can just jump all of them every round. With the ray gun, what you want to do is you want to hip fire it. It's really accurate. It's like uh, perfect almost. So you just want to hip fire it. Aim for the legs. You don't want to spray it because you want to conserve your ammo. Just do single shots. It's one one hit per zombie. So. Um, you're gonna want to upgrade it before round 20, sometime before that. I'll just upgrade it now. Why not? Because I'm gonna upgrade it eventually. And uh, upgraded Reagan 
is pretty much the best weapon you can get. Uh, thunder gun, I would not go for a thunder gun ever for solo. But yeah, ray gun, upgraded ray gun, one hit to turn a zombie into a crawler any round. Like even that, if you're at a hundred, it's still one hit to turn him into a crawler. And like upgraded ray gun, one hit on dogs no matter what. <laughs> um, there, there's a, a bug when you're doing solo. Uh, the okay, so the the weapons box is always in a random spot. But um, if you when you're playing solo, if you die uh, and you just don't back out, you just die. The game automatically restarts. So um, wherever the box was the last round that you just died in, uh, the box is going to be in the same spot, and you, it'll just keep going same spot over and over again. Same thing uh, works for the dog round. So like if you had dogs on round five because sometimes it's random sometimes it can, it can be anywhere from like four through six i think every four or six rounds and you get dogs but like if you uh if you if you got like a dog on round six then you probably want to back out and try it again so anyways i'm gonna cut it here so see you next time